As a diagnostic, I'm going to try running this JER CPU board for S100 bus computer systems in single board computer mode instead of front panel mode. So I've rearranged the jumpers here for single board computer and I've added some wires here so I can hard reset the machine in a very janky way. And I need to get this front panel board out, I think. Okay, so here's the front panel board, what it looks like in the wild. Now with the front panel disconnected, you don't have this power switch, but there is a power switch here. But that power switch is sitting right next to the fuse. So what I did is I turned it off, flipped the switch, and I'm actually going to turn this on and off by unplugging it from the wall. Because I don't want to stick my fingers here. Oh! Let's see, this is the world's jankiest reset button, but it looks like it's starting up on its own. Okay, let's do a monitor and let's do a RAM test. Okay, testing RAM. RAM page March past, RAM byte March one past. That's a good sign. RAM bit March past, RAM sequence test past. Okay, now let's see if I can reset it manually like this. And that did reset it. So now I'm going to do a RAM test on boot up. Ah, that passed. March A. So this is when, this is something where when I had the front panel on, it was not wanting to pass this test here, right when you start it up, but it was passing the RAM test in the monitor. Let's see what this does. Okay, it like that. Bit March passed. RAM sequence test. Okay. Why is it telling us all this now? Anyway, it looks like it passed the RAM test. Oh, let's see, we're back here. Let's try to boot into CPM. And I'm just gonna go right on to disk B and let's try playing Zork. Okay, it's thinking, it's talking. Ah, there's Zork. All right. Infocom, there is a small mailbox here. Look, mailbox. That's a sentence I don't recognize. Okay, whatever. Anyway, we can play Zork. How about go north? Okay, we can Zork. Okay, now let me try basic. Okay, we're in basic. Okay, I think I just wrote a program. Try listing that program and let's try running it. All right. Okay, so this is working in standalone mode, but I was having trouble with some aspects of it, with some programs running. Particularly, it looks like maybe programs using more memory when I was using this front panel. The monitor RAM check would pass, but the fancier RAM check that checks the full memory, including the high memory, to that you can only run when you're first booting the machine, that was failing when I had the front panel in and the front panel connector here, you know, this this panel, this thingy, this dangly thingy connected, and I had the jumper set for front panel MSI operation. Hmm. So, Jareboard, why do you not like my front panel?